what can stand out for someone who has come into contact with a man who is overly focused on his mother is that he is too caught up in his mother's life. They will then be able to see that he needs to start focusing on his own life. This is not to say that they will believe that he needs to completely turn his back on his mother, but then this would be going from one extreme to another. Instead, they can just say that he needs to just be more in balance. Based on how he is behaving, it can be as though he has his own car and his own journey to undertake, yet he will be in his mother's car and will be going on her journey. Thanks to this, his own car will be overlooked, and so will his own journey. To bring this back to reality, his body will be his own car, and living his own life is how he will be on his own journey. Naturally, by living in this way, he will be abandoning himself and overlooking his own path. In general, his attention is going to be in his head, and on what is going on externally, and for his mother in particular. What is going on in his body will then largely be a mystery, which will mean that most of his needs and feelings will be overlooked. When it comes to what his mother's needs and feelings are, though, this won't be the case. He is likely to have a strong connection to what is going on for her, and he might even believe that her needs and feelings are his own. This is going to both deprive his being and his life of a lot of energy, meaning that he could typically ignore his body and his life. But due to how caught up he is in his mother's world, this might not stand out. However, as he is neglecting himself, the signs are likely to be there that how he is behaving is not serving him. The challenge is that if he doesn't pay attention to these signs, let alone know what they mean, he won't be able to use the information that is being provided. So, he could often feel drained and deeply depressed, for instance, but this could be seen as being caused by something else. That is, of course, if he pays attention to this information. Therefore, the information that he needs will be right in front of his eyes, but he won't be in a position to join the dots, so to speak. As a result of this, he will continue to stay in his mother's car and go on her journey. Sooner or later, though, he might get to the stage where he is unable to live in this way. Something could happen that will knock him on his back, and over time, he could start to wake up. If this was to happen, it could show that he has had a breakdown, break up, and or has lost his job. At this point, he could still be in his mother's car and on her journey, but he will be wondering what is going on. What will be essential is for him to gradually reconnect to his own body and thus his own needs and feelings, and then to focus on his own life. This will allow him to get back in his own car and to follow his own path. What this will do is allow him to inhabit his own personal reality as opposed to being caught up in his mother's personal reality. Nonetheless, while this will be imperative if he wants to live a life that is fulfilling, it doesn't mean that he will just be able to do this. The mere thought of breaking away and living his own life could cause him to experience fear, anxiety and even terror. What this will illustrate is that although neglecting himself is harming him, it is seen as the only way for him to survive. And if he was to connect to his body, this could be a time when he will feel empty, hopeless, helpless and alone. Thus, focusing on his mother is going to be a way for him to avoid falling into a pit of despair and being overwhelmed by his feelings. What this is likely to show is that he is developmentally stunted due to being deprived of the nutrients that he needed during his formative years. Most likely his mother used him to meet some of her adult and unmet developmental needs. Consequently, 
his survival would have stayed attached to his mother and he wouldn't have developed a strong sense of self. Instead, he would have been greatly traumatised, causing his body to be filled with pain and for him to automatically disconnect from himself in the process. Ultimately, being caught in his mother's reality, as bleak as this will be, will be a way for him to keep it together and function. For him to step away from her reality and back into his own, and for him to be an embodied human being, he is likely to have a lot of pain to work through. By engaging in this process, he will slowly go from being in an emotionally empty and underdeveloped state and full of pain to feeling emotionally full and developed and settled. This will take courage and patience and persistence. So if you are a man and you can relate to this, you are trapped in your mother's reality then you will see that this is not something that you have chosen to do. It will be the result of you missing out on the nutrients that you needed very early on. And so automatically as a child you were forced, and even before you were a child, you were forced to be caught up in your mother's reality in order to survive. You had no choice. It was either that, or you would have suffered even more. And so you had to go along with it. You had to lose yourself, you had to lose your connection with your own body, so your own needs, feelings, preferences, wants and longings, you had to be there for her. And of course now it will be causing you to suffer unnecessarily. When you were younger, you had no choice, but now that you are an adult, you have a choice. But even though you have a choice, as you will probably know, it is not just a case of you saying, right, I'm going to change. And from that moment on, you will no longer be caught up in your mother's reality because of how underdeveloped you are likely to be and the pain you are carrying. It will take time for you to gradually move away, move out of your mother's reality and into your own, to get back into your own vehicle and to set your sat-nav to where you want to go, to where you want to be. So you may need to reach out for external support and through working through your pain and a number of other things, questioning what you believe, for instance, changing your behaviour, you will gradually be able to get back in your vehicle and to follow your own path. If you would like to find out more about the services that I offer, please go to www.oliverjrcooper.co.uk or email me at info at oliverjrcooper.co.uk and I'm looking forward to assisting you on your journey.